Okay. Peter Baumgarten, Chief Commercial Officer at Etihad Airways. Okay, thank you for talking to us, ITV Berlin. Um, let's start with the good news. Etihad's just moved into profit for the first time. Well, good morning, Chris. Yeah, um, back in Berlin, another year passed by. Time flies. Uh, last year, about the same time, you know, we were talking about our break-even uh, target. Um, the year is over. 2011 turned out to be a milestone year in the history of Etihad Airways. A successful year for us. It was hard work. It was not an ideal work, uh, not an ideal um, a year from a, from a um, operational environment perspective. But there is no ideal year in, in aviation ever is always something you have to deal with. Um, we dealt with the issues in 2011 uh, very well and we uh, netted a profit which is uh, even exceeded our break-even target that we had for 2011. That's a milestone achievement for us when you think that we continue to be the fastest growing airline in commercial aviation history. Still, you know, challenging the accepted standards when it comes to um, product and service uh, quality having been voted three years in a row as the world leading airline, um, which makes us very proud, and at the same time hitting our uh, commercial numbers um, and even exceeding them, netting a profit, um, all that together is a real achievement, which makes us a little bit proud. And you were voted the world's leading airline at the World Travel Awards, is that correct? That is correct, yes, uh, three years in a row, um, uh, a real hat-trick. Um, yes, you know, as I said, you know, in an environment um, with, uh, you know, fierce, harsh competition um, in an environment um, where we are, um, you know, uh, keeping track with um, uh, tough, you know, commercial uh, uh, commitments that we have made, um, but still then, you know, continue to be innovative, pushing the boundaries when it comes to product and service innovation um, and not losing track on that, you know, um, still continuing, you know, to provide uh, best-in-class services to our customers and hitting our financial numbers both together is an achievement. Um, you've chosen to grow in other ways um, over 2011 as well, deals with, um, deals with Air Berlin and uh, Air, she Air Seychelles. Would yeah. you mind just telling us a little bit about those? Well, as you can see, you know, we're celebrating here, especially here in Berlin, in Germany, our partnership with Air Berlin, which um, is our first equity investment, you know, in, a, in another airline. Um, it underpins and, and uh, you know, demonstrates our long-term commitment to that uh, strategic partnership. Um, uh, Germany is a key market for us, Europe is a key geography for us, Germany an economic powerhouse within, within uh, uh, Europe, uh, strategically very, very important for us. Um, Air Berlin came at the right point in time as a, an opportunity, um, both networks um, which we are now synchronizing, optimizing in, over to, in order to uh, optimize uh, the incremental revenues that we can drive um, out of this partnership product integration, frequent flyer integration. Um, it's the uh, very beginning of a, a long-lasting uh, strategic journey, and we already see you know, the first benefits uh, coming through in terms of incremental revenue, in terms of um, increased customer satisfaction with the proposition, the unique op proposition that we can uh, you know, bring to the market and challenge again you know, the accepted standards that have been um, there around in Europe for too long. They are now um, you know, to be challenged, and that's exactly what we do. How about uh, 2012? Uh, which new routes are you looking forward to this year? What else have you got on the agenda? Well, let's flash back quickly. You know, in November, we have added uh, Maldives and Seychelles. December, um, our second Chinese uh, destination, um, Chengdu. Um, that was followed by uh, Dusseldorf in the same month. Um, then the, the year uh, started with, uh, with Tripoli, then uh, Shanghai, the third Chinese destination we added uh, this month, followed next month by Nairobi. Um, and then we have uh, already announced you know, uh, uh, further destinations. Well, Lagos, Lagos is uh, on the plan, Basra in Iraq. But then you know, next year, um, uh, Washington, yeah, another um, you know, important gateway into North America for us. Um, and then further announcements will be made in the months to come. So we continue to, um, you know, as we take um, aircraft into our fleet out of um, our uh, record-breaking 2008 Farnborough fleet order of um, up to 205 aircraft, 100 firm orders. These aircraft are now joining our fleet fast and furious, and that keeps us expanding uh, the network, but also adding uh, not just um, breadth, but also depth into the network, um, additional uh, frequencies, better connectivity over the hub. So so um, we continue to improve our network you know, to the benefit of the frequent flyers. Okay. Well, very much look forward to. Thank you very much for talking to us uh, here at ITV. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank Thanks, you. Chris. Perfect. Thank you.